Hey guys, it's Mountain Goat. Today I'm gonna talk about Yamato Michi's mini backpack and why I don't use it anymore. Some of you might notice that I changed my channel name from Haika Kids Show to Mountain Goat Channel. Mountain Goat is my trail name that my fellow hikers gave me while hiking in Sedona, Arizona. By the way, this is Mini from Yamato Michi. And Yamato Michi is one of the most famous popular ultralight cottage gear company in Japan. And Mini is arguably the best seller of their backpack. Yamato Michi ship internationally, so I will put the link below in the description, so please check it out. Mine is older version, so it's different from the current product, but um, except material and some small features, the design itself is the same. So my comments on the older version will applicable to the current product. Before anything else, let me state that something I don't like will something you like and also something that doesn't work for me will work for you. So please relax. This is just my honest review. First, let me explain why I bought this pack. There are many YouTube videos that explain about the pack in detail and um, before I purchased it, I researched a lot and um, many reviews are strangely very very super positive and I was fully influenced by the positive reviews. So today I'm gonna discuss why I don't use it anymore with my honest opinion. First, one of the biggest reasons why I don't use it anymore is its weight. Considering the volume to weight ratio, it is not so light and there are many other options that is lighter and have more volume. For example, my light AF Curve 20 liter pack weighs 425 kg and um, this mini is 455 kg in my scale. So the weight roughly the same, you know, slightly uh, this backpack is lighter but this backpack has much more volume than mini. So the weight is the biggest reason. The second reason is somewhat related to its volume. I love stretchy front mesh pocket like Lycra and it is just small uh, water resistant zipper. Before I bought it, I thought this feature is useful especially since we have many rain in Japan but it doesn't hold many stuff the capacity is very limited because of the zipper for example you can put like shelters and puffy coats like any bulky items all together in like a mesh pocket but it doesn't it's not so useful in my opinion also it's not waterproof it's just water resistant Another reason is related to its weight. Since, as I said, it is not waterproof, so you have to use pack liner or pack cover, so it will force you to carry more weight, right? The first reason is its design. For example, I wonder why the stretchy mesh pocket is used in a side pocket. Because side pocket is, as you can guess, the most exposed part to wear or abrasion. So that might be the reason why American cottage company uses stronger material in a side pocket. And also, I really hate this main opening. Main opening opens with cord, this cord, like this, like a storage bag. And this is very cumbersome, you know, uh, you have to do it like this, and you know. Uh, and newer version is easier to open, but the, the newer version still has, you know, this cumbersome cord. I don't like this cord because it can get cold by three branches, so I don't like it. I think snap button and 
roll top closure is much easier to open and close. And moreover, I need daisy chains in shoulder straps like this. Like this, I really need it. I wanna put stuff like uh, cameras, water bottles, and many things like I need immediately while hiking without putting off my backpack. So I need it. Lightness will be important, but usefulness will be more important to me. This is my value. I don't think daisy chain will add more weight, but I don't understand. But these features will not be a deal breaker for you, but I don't like how it's designed. These are the reasons why I don't use Yamato Michi Mini anymore. Again, what I discussed here is nothing more than my personal preference. So if you like your Mini, please keep using. One note, uh, this backpack Mini is about $300 and the pack I'm currently using is $225 roughly. As you know, the ultra material is much more expensive than the materials used in mini backpack. However, I think this backpack is cool. I mean, the appearance is very cool. It's not like a hiker backpack. It's stylish. So I don't think it's not a bad thing to invest your money to something you like. The appearance, so it's your choice. You know, it's kind of a hiker direction. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not a Yamato Michi hater. I love using their products, like five pocket pants or something like that. I use Yamato Michi's other products, not only because how they look, but also because of their functionality. I love Yamato Michi, but I'm just talking about my honest opinion to mini backpack. I hope this video will contribute to your decision making in terms of backpack. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you like my content, please subscribe. If you already subscribed my channel, thank you very much. See ya.